Welcome back to the Romany Pirates. You join us on our 11th wedding anniversary. Wait until you see what he's bought me. Find out later in the episode why we're heading south, what we're going to go see, and why we're not on the boat and why we're on the road. But first, let's get the Gretel on and have a brew. We're stuck in a traffic jam. <laughs> There's a big accident on M5 um, and it's been like this for ages and ages and ages so we've tried to take a back road and that's not worked and I'm sick of hearing that woman talking on that sat nav. Um, so we thought we'd tell you, or I'd tell you, a little bit about what it was like 11 years ago today when I got married to uh, that pirate over there. <laughs> So one of my biggest memories from that day, or funniest memories from that day, I suppose, is uh, in the morning, I got up, got ready, uh, well, we're getting ready. I was meant to be going for my hair doing, um, and my daughter and myself were meant to be going and getting his hair done, you know, doing it all posh and everything. And uh, I was waiting, and my friend who was meant to be coming to pick me up just didn't turn up. And so I'm sat there and I think, well, they can't have forgotten, because I only told him yesterday, and he was one of our ushers, um, and so I'm ringing him and ringing him and ringing him and ringing him and by the time I get through I'm saying where are you? I'm meant to be at hairdressers and he's like oh I forgot, I forgot all about it so thank you very much Ian for the morning of my wedding for getting to take me for my hair doing um, and I ended up having to get a taxi with my daughter in our pyjamas and walk through the entire town centre in our pyjamas to get to this little place where I was going to have my hair done. So while we're sat in this traffic, what's one of your memories from 11 years ago? I absolutely hate traffic, traffic. <laughs> I sound like an old, um, what were it, with that sitcom? That Victor Meldrew. Victor Meldrew, I'm getting like Victor Meldrew out. Um, so the night before our wedding, um, I was staying at my, uh, my mate's house, my mate's house, Snoopy, who was my best man. And, uh, and Snoopy were going out, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to go out, because uh, Emma won't let like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Snoopy were like, oh, come on, now, like, no, no, so I promised that I'm not going to go out the night before the wedding, have too much and that. And um, so all I wanted were a movie and a trifle, that's it, one of those big trifles you get from the supermarket. So I was like, I was like oh, no, that'll be great, that'll do me, get my slippers on, get a movie on, get my trifle ready. So I was really looking forward to it. And then it came, that's all I wanted, and it came. Uh, to, and I got the movie ready, I got, got right comfy on the sofa, went to get my trifle and it had gone off. <laughs> the only thing that I wanted had gone off, oh, I was so gutted. Well, he's joined us back onto the motorway, and as you can see, it is just gridlocked, as far as the eye can see. Joy. I'll carry on telling you stories about our wedding day while, uh, while we're stuck in traffic. <laughs> So basically our wedding was none of this 15 grand for the average wedding thing. We had to do it on a budget, a really tight budget actually. Um, and me and Reese met when we were watching this band. Um, and I wanted to, really wanted to get them playing at our wedding. Um, kind of like a heavy sort of uh, metal type band. Um, I think I was probably the only moshing bride in a really posh white dress. Um, but Reese knew nothing about us, me booking this, um, so I did it as a surprise for him. And I never, ever, ever gamble, ever, because I hate it. Um, but this one day we were out and uh, I just decided that I was going to go, there was this little machine and you sort of bought a ticket and peeled off these little parts on it and it revealed, you know, matching pictures. And someone just told me to go buy one. They were only a quid. So I went and I bought one. Anyway, I won £200. So I managed to arrange with this band um, that we'd met and become friends with, because um, we'd met watching them, um, that they'd come and play at our wedding for 200 quid. So um, the night before the wedding, I gave Reese a present to take with him, which was like an old sort of metal uh, motorbike, um, like an old Harley um, sort of ornament type thing that had been handmade. And on it, I'd engraved a plaque on it that told him that um, the motors were gonna be playing at our wedding. So he opened up um, his present in morning and was slightly surprised. Won't you love? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, big shout out to uh, Liz and G if you're watching. Um, so Emma and I actually met at, uh, at, the, at the, we got together at their gig. So that band's always, they've always meant a lot to us. Uh, they were amazing on our wedding day, yeah, weren't they? Called, absolutely amazing. They're called uh, Salt Works now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, back then they used to be called Mortis and uh, yeah, they were just they were just amazing. 
the whole day, that whole wedding day, were just about us. It was just, it was not really. Um, it was just, it was great. One of them, I like it. Reese wore a silver suit, didn't you? Yeah, and I had a dragon's cane. Like I love all like to do with dragons and stuff like that. So I had this this big cane with this big dragon's head on it. It was like, am I allowed to wear a silver? Am I allowed to wear this suit and have this cane? I'll let you wear what you want. I don't care. <laughs> So finally the traffic is clearing, it's making way like Moses part in the sea. It's absolutely great, isn't it? Like when you've been sat in traffic for ages and then all of a sudden it starts to open up. Um, so we are now two hours away from our destination. Uh, we are heading to Southern Devon. Can't remember where, what it's called, where we're going. Um, but it's, it's going to be absolutely epic and amazing when we get there. We are almost there, thankfully. Oh, honestly, that traffic jam just reminded me of that time when, uh, do you remember when we were in, um, travelling through Europe and there were that truck there, all them oranges? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so we're going down and on the other side of the road, there were like traffic as far as you could see. But it went on for ages, mile after mile after mile, and we were like, hey, what's going on here? And we finally got to the end of it, and what had happened was, a little truck filled with oranges had overturned, and there were oranges like, Right everywhere, away, everywhere, and they were actually having to come out, weren't they, and bring people, um, like you know, water and stuff because obviously in Europe it was red hot, um, and they'd been you know, hours and hours and hours and hours like sat in the cars. <laughs> we were all right though because we had our water in that, didn't we? <laughs> orange, orange is right away down the motorway where it just like dropped all these oranges. Yeah, it's been a long, a long drive down, but um, it'd, and I, it'd been tango, hadn't it? That one? Yeah, <laughs> I hate it when we're going to a destination. I just like to just drive and not know where we're going and not worry about it. I absolutely hate it when we're going to a destination. Um, but yeah, we're nearly there now. We have arrived. Um, we are at Tidover Festival and it's looking absolutely epic so far. And this is a place that you come on your wedding anniversary when you're a pirate. Look at that ship. Awesome. Here at the Tide Over Festival, we've come all the way to Devon to um, essentially uh, set up a stall. Um, so I'm going to be selling my leather uh, art, and Emma's going to be uh, selling bits and pieces that she's created and um, some cool hats. So we'll show you all that later on in the episode. Um, so we're just getting set up here now. Um, there's a cool pirate band going on down there, so we're going to go check that out, and uh, yeah, possibly introduce you to some uh, pirates as well. I have ended up designated chef for a load of pirates for the evening. I'm not quite sure how that ended up happening, but we'll see how it turns out. But I've fried off some uh, onions in there um, and put in some soya mince. Um, just really simple. Um, added in uh, some crushed chilies, some dried crushed chilies. Some of these things, easy to use. Let's not make life too complicated. Going to add in some uh, tin tomatoes and uh, some kidney beans. Um, and a few more little spices in there, just spice it up a little bit, seems though they've made me cook. Might as well make them pay. <laughs> and we'll see if we can uh, satisfy the hunger of a load of pirates. Well, good morning. Um, it's day two here at the festival. And uh, as you can see, it's raining again. It's just whether we're on the boat or we've traveled all this way basically to Devon, it's a long, long way to be able to do a stall to sell the leather because that's how we make a little bit of money while we're on the road <clears throat> and uh and it's just raining um so at the minute we're just having a coffee inside um the rest of the guys are, are in their tents and stuff and uh yeah not a good start to the morning so we're gonna have a coffee make the most of it and uh pray that this clears up i'm staying in my loungewear today i'm not even putting my makeup on <laughs> it's just pointless oh the weather is just absolutely awful honestly and it's it can have a big a big hit on like your income and stuff like this when stuff stuff like this happens it's awful but anyway i thought i'd show you my anniversary present wait till you see this look it's our logo come to life 
it's absolutely amazing the lady that does them it's all made out of like um needle felt and the lady that does them she even like has made all the rings and um, so reese sent photographs to her of all our rings and our hats and stuff like that and she's made it exactly the same the rings i don't know if you can really see them but they're so tiny and they're literally identical to ours and this shirt is exactly the shirt that reese has got at home as well um and his trousers it's just absolutely amazing it's a little pirate so now we've got romany the van and we've got the actual pirate as well so now we've got the full romany pirates it's uh, made by heartfelt bears if anybody wants to uh, to check check her work out she's absolutely amazing heartfelt bears so there you go you can go and have a look on there and uh, she does them of you like yourself as well do you know so she, she'll do like replicas of you um, our friends have got some aren't they and they're absolutely amazing really 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 detailed work i'm so pleased by him i love him he's so cute Yes, this is like real true festival style in it. <laughs> yeah. It is absolutely torrential rain. Has um, been like uh, all all day all day yesterday, all day today. We've uh, literally kind of just sat inside. We've tried going out and sort of joining in and stuff because you know you don't want anything to stop you when you come away and we we're real looking forward to like a not not romantic because oh. it's not really a romantic place, but just like a fun you know anniversary weekend <laughs> weren't we like we we're just real looking forward to it so we've been out trying to sort of just join in and you know it's difficult to film anything because it's absolutely pouring it down so you, you know you don't want your equipment to get wet and everything um but it's it's also the atmosphere is just not the same is it i think everybody was looking forward yeah. to a sunny weekend and there's, you know there's nobody here at this point like we've not even literally been able to introduce you to the to the rest of the guys that we've met up with so to, to give it all into a little bit of context i used to be a professional jack sparrow look-alike that's what i used to do um and and within that were other jack sparrow look-alikes and, and so we all used to go all over the country together um doing various gigs and festivals and stuff as jack sparrow um so one of my one of my good friends wayne uh it was a jack sparrow impersonator from uh, true entertainment um, he'd kind of said, "Oh, come down for this festival, meet up with everybody again. You'd be able to, you know, have, have a have a leather stall with your leather art and demonstrate that." Um, and so we travelled for hours and hours and hours, come away from the boat, obviously, um, to actually get away from the rain as well up there. And um, we were like, "We can't get much done because it'll forecast rain up there." So we're like, "Right, we'll go down south. We'll go to this festival. We'll meet up with the guys from." that I haven't seen for, for quite a few years and I haven't even been able to introduce you. everybody's just in the tents and the vans and and uh, it is it is what it is at the minute but it's very disappointing. I feel very yeah. sorry for a lot of the people that had set up before us haven't they because mm. they've set all the stalls up with a lot of clothing um, and all sorts of you know really nice kind of handmade things um, and some people you know manage quick enough to get you know they're, they're in sort of like tents where you they can shut off the shop if you like all the way around but some people aren't and some people's things have got really wet and you know um and what have you and it's not there's it's nobody's fault you no, can't help fault. this it's not you know the organizers don't control the weather do you know you can't <laughs> you can't help it but we're just debating now aren't we whether do we stick it out because apparently tomorrow is meant to be dry um or you know nicer weather not meant to be sunny but it's meant to be nicer weather so do we stick it out tomorrow um and try and sort of save a bit of the weekend have a bit of fun with the guys you know have a good time um there's quite a lot of bands on and things like that to be able to maybe join in some of that tomorrow night when it's drier um and hopefully try and save and at least you know break even on the cost of the fuel for getting down here and everything um or do we just sort of sack it off and go somewhere else um and start traveling around a little bit and just move on mm. you know um we need to be getting back up to the boat um at some point next week don't we to make some headway again yeah. you know just to keep things moving forward because we've got no idea at what point they're going to actually put us back into the water so we need to make sure that we've got everything done that needs to be done especially on the outside of the boat before we go back in the water and preferably anything that requires power tools um because it's easier to do that on dry land um so we're just still really trying to work out aren't we just debating 
Yeah, it's di it's difficult and it's difficult to film, and I'm I'm really conscious as well that we're turning into one of them channels that are mourning all the time. <laughs> so we're not, as you know, for anybody that's watched us, we're not we're not that kind of people. We are literally just we're just stuck at the minute, and it is a reality. Like we don't want to give you guys anything that's not our reality because it won't be a vlog. But it is disappointing. You know, there's been a lot of kind of hype amongst myself and 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 my friends that, that you know we we're going to meet up again and we we're going to do this festival and so it's a bit disappointing that that's not that's not come off you know we're going to be it we're going to be absolutely epic and obviously it's it's not because of the weather and that's life sometimes isn't it that's life and we're all a bit disappointed you know but we're just gonna have to sort of chat it out a little bit longer at the moment we're thinking maybe we set it out just till the morning um if the rain has stopped tonight and it seems to have been done with and you know it seems to be picking up a little bit then we might just sort of sit it out but at the moment the ground is flooded um it's actually a bit concerned as to whether we're going to be able to drive off here because the ground is flooded um, and it's quite a difficult route down as well so getting back is going to be quite difficult to get out of here um because it's in like a valley uh, and it would be a great place to show you around like if it were dry because oh, yeah. it's, it's not absolutely just absolutely amazing it's somewhere like there's ground, the place, the place itself is like lord of the rings the shire and then you've got just just such cool like pirates. And we haven't learnt a lot about it yet, but it's, it seems to be sort of related to some some kind of old coal mining thing. It's got a museum here and stuff mm. like that as well. And you know, so there is quite a lot to look at. But we just haven't been able to get around and look at it because it is torrential. It's it, you are absolutely drenched. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see what we will. We'll yeah. have another chat. See what happens. We'll have another brew. <laughs> we'll find out later in the vlog. So we're just going to have some tea uh, and possibly go through the rain to see a band that is inside. Um, I've just uh, just been saying to Emma like it's not it's not an upbeat episode, and Emma's like you know yeah, but this is just life, and it is. It's right, is that sometimes it's just life, is this, and it can't be helped. And um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow it'll be uh, it'll be sunny. We're roaming in the van now, make a brew and uh, settle in for the night. See you tomorrow. Day three here at Tidover Festival. We've finally got a stall up. Um, it's literally the last day, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll sell a couple of bits and bats. But um, yeah, we're finally uh, finally up and running. It's still overcast, um, but uh, there is a bit of sunshine coming through the clouds now. So the guys don't want to be on YouTube. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'll introduce you briefly to uh, to Wayne. So Wayne's been a good friend of mine for years and years and years. We used to do Jack Sparrow together all over the country. And uh, so yeah, you can uh, say hello to, to Wayne real quick if we can get him to say hi. <laughs> this is Jack Sparrow, AKA Wayne Truman from True Entertainment. Hi, it is I. Welcome to Tide Fest, which has been very much that as it's been the top. 
tide has been in most of the time when we've all got very wet and drowned in it. But today is a far better day and we will celebrate with mainly drink. I love drink. Drink is great. Anyway, big shout out to my gypsy travellers out there. How are you my friend? So, pirate's life for us. It's pirate's life for you and the pirate's life for everyone. Sammy. The sun is now shining, we're in full swing, uh, met some really great people so far and uh, yeah, it's going really well. So there's some amazing stalls here, um, absolutely beautiful stuff. It's just phenomenal the work that people put into um, to making the things that they do. This is just absolutely awesome, like a real life ship. It looks a little bit better than uh, looks a little bit better than ours at the moment. <laughs> Although we are getting there, but I don't think we're quite going to achieve this uh, amount of realism, unfortunately. So I'm checking out all of these little bits that we've got on this um, ship, so that I can get some ideas for any little bits we can add on to ours make it more realistic. There you are. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the all ages and fairy legged beasties. Welcome to Romany Pirates. I am Captain Jack Sparrow. Sammy, and right now, I'm gonna go and shoot something and then have a drink or two. So first of all, <coughs> second of all, drink. So we've just left now. Um, it's been good in the end. Really enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really yeah, it's good. Been yeah, great to catch up with old friends. Like I've been friends with them guys. I've said for years and years and years. Wayne especially. Uh, Wayne and I've been on some real cool adventures together. So it was really nice to catch up uh, with him again. And uh, yeah, it was great. Loved it. Yeah, really enjoyed it. So we're heading up north now and see where we end up. So we've had an absolutely fantastic time, haven't we? Yeah, in the end, we've just uh, we've just parked up now. We're just outside of Glastonbury, actually, funnily enough. If you haven't seen that episode, go watch the Glastonbury episode when we were last up here. Always goes to show, it doesn't matter what the weather's like, it doesn't matter how much you're expecting from something. Just make the best of it. Just write your own story and make fantastic memories. See you next week at 8pm Monday.